Okay guys, so today I'm doing a little test uh, with uh, wetting agents, not necessarily surfactants because the definition of a surfactant is the ability of a substance to uh, to uh, limit surface tension of a liquid. So uh, basically what that means is, is it'll penetrate. Uh, so we're not really dealing with surfactants, we're dealing with wetting agents. So in these two different bottles, I have two different soaps. In the left bottle, I have my house wash mix, uh, my house wash soap, excuse me, one ounce, in approximately, uh, I would say about 10 ounces of straight 10.5% sodium hypochlorite. In the right bottle, I have one ounce of sodium hydroxide in straight, uh, in straight 10.5% sodium hypochlorite. Same amount of hypochlorite, same amount of uh, wetting agent. And basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to make hydroxide work as a wetting agent for cleaning things a little bit more efficiently, uh, mainly concrete. Uh, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is because uh, my house wash surfactant is about, I get about 11 ounces per dollar. I went all nerd on this. Uh, I get 11 ounces per dollar. Sodium hydroxide is about 19 ounces per dollar. So it's almost half as cheap, half as expensive. Take that as you will. As you will. Anyway, uh, so I'm doing this today because I've got a big job coming up and I'm trying to figure out a way to keep my, my mix wet on a surface so my bleach can work and I don't have to apply uh, as, as uh, often, we'll say. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set these out on each side of my curb and we're going to see how long it takes them to dry. I'm not going to dump the whole things out because my storm drain is right there. So I'm really just going to dump out probably about an ounce of this and the rest of it's going to be weed killer uh, for my, my, uh, my side yard. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. And I will let you guys know okay, how this Okay, so goes. you can kind of see instantly the difference. This is the house wash soap. Um, it's, the bleach seems to be working a little bit uh, more traditionally uh, where it does the foam up thing and the instant cleaning, whereas the hydroxide just kind of like uh, hanging out, it spreads out more. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, you know, it's the same amount I dumped. Uh, I might have dumped a little more hydroxide actually, as you can see. So uh, this is what we're doing. I really don't want that to go in the storm drain, but it looks like it's gonna. So we're gonna do a, a, a kind of a side-by-side -side comparison and see how quickly these dry, because that's really what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to see if the hydroxide will dry faster than the, the uh, house wash soap, actually the other way around. I want this to stay wet longer because it's cheaper. Okay, so this is after about five minutes, and like most of my experiments, I'm already recognizing the error in my ways. Um, obviously these are not on the same, uh, ground, uh, I guess the, the plumbness or level of the ground. Obviously this is slopes more toward the drain, whereas this is a little more flat. So my experiment is already kind of debunked. Um, well, it won't be validated. Um, you science minds out there, you have to have a controlled, a controlled environment. And this is not a controlled environment. Basically I'm missing... I need to have the same exact surface for both tests. Unfortunately, I already dumped <laughs> my, my samples out. So this is going to have to be as good as it gets. Um, but we're still going to keep on with this. Uh, I'm going to check back again at 20 minutes or 10 minutes and then again at 20 minutes. Okay, I went straight from 5 minutes to 20 minutes. This is 20 minutes. The hydroxide has not dried at all. The soap is almost all the way dry. So my theory was correct on the fact that hydroxide will stay wetter longer, but unfortunately, in doing my research, I didn't really do my full research before I actually did this, sodium hydroxide, if dried, will redeposit re all the dirt and basically you'll have to start over. So uh, sodium hydroxide is great when wet, but once it dries, you're kind of screwed. So. Um, Using it as a, as, a, as a surfactant is almost impossible because it also doesn't have the chemical ability to separate uh, the hydrophilic uh, or water-friendly um, 
particles from the surface. So it actually won't do that like a surfactant, well, a soap, basically. Um, because that's what we use our surfactants as, is soaps, even though that's not really what they are. Um, so just to let you guys know what I'm doing or why I'm doing this, I, you, I already told you why I'm doing it, but if I was to pressure wash this and pressure wash this, even though this dried faster, this would actually most likely be cleaner because the surfactant in the soap actually helps lift away the dirt and the organic compounds that the bleach has killed so um, if my research is correct that's what I have found so it really doesn't matter if we wait to see we know this one's gonna stay wetter longer than that one but the actual cleaning capability is actually better over there than it is. okay guys uh, this is the 30 minute mark <clears throat> the sodium hydroxide is still not drying it is staying there it isn't really doesn't hasn't really dissolved or dried really at all we've got a pretty stiff wind here today that's about 60% uh, humidity it's supposed to rain tonight so uh, it's probably going up uh, the the, uh, the surfactant the, the house wash soap is just about dry um, there's still a little bit left there a um, couple of things to note um, if you were to add a surfactant to this you would have one kick butt long lasting water wetting cleaning solution and I mean kick butt you're talking about you could do degreasing and mildew removal with one step um, you do have to be careful with sodium hydroxide because it is extremely hazardous to human tissue um, I had uh, third degree chemical burns from sodium hydroxide from an accident I had about a month ago which that wound is still open uh, over a month ago so be very careful when mixing but this is why I mix my wood cleaning chemicals uh, sodium hydroxide with sodium hypochlorite and a surfactant that's why I do that um, a lot of people ask me why I'm mixing them or is it safe it is safe in the right mixture ratios and it is very effective um, you can use a lot less soap because you can let your your, your, your your solution dwell for so much longer than let that bleach really do its work and then the sodium hydroxide helps with things like mill glaze which if you're into the wood game and you don't know what mill glaze is google it because it's very important it's a good way to sell yourself and sell your process so uh, this is Andrew Teich from Integrated Power Washing in Warner Robins Georgia uh, uh, a good test but uh, definitely um, a little misguided albeit um, but my theory proved to be correct uh, between these two. So uh, until next time.